What's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill. We got ourselves a new Transformers figure. This isn't exactly completely new, but it's from a figure I haven't gotten around to getting or reviewing. So, first, in its Titans Return, it's Generations. Transformers Generations Autobot 30th Anniversary. 2014 Brainstorm. And he is a Headmaster. Yes. The first edition Headmaster. To Head converts to pilot. So yeah. That's all there is to... Let's look at the box. A product shot of Brainstorm in his jet mode. Looking really good and really futuristic, spacey. I love that. And a bio. If you care to read the bio. There's a lot of information. I can barely read all of it. So, all there is to say, for the packaging. Now, here he is in his jet mode. And it's a very, very good jet mode. One of the best jet formers we got got over the years. Is it better than Titan's Return? Um, in scales of paint and the Headmaster, very good. But just for comparison, I'm going to bring out the Titan's Return hardhead in his uh, tank mode because I am efficient like that. I want to show it with a current, with a past figure because I am subsistent like that. Which means I gotta transform it off camera, which I am used to. I'm still getting used to that function of life. So give me a few seconds and I'll have the comparison ready to go. And that's a timer. Please ignore the timer. I just reminded me it's 11 o'clock. So if you hear a timer go off in the video, please ignore it. That's just a reminder timer to take out my dogs. Uh, yeah, I got dogs. Eddie Hill has dogs. Of all things. And uh, here he is next to the Titans Return Chrome Dome. I don't have Titans Return, Highbrow, or Brains or Brainstorm, or Hardhead, or Highbrow. So this is the best comparison I give them, next to the tank. Now, let's get down to Transformation, which is very simple. Remove the guns, fold in the landing gear. Disconnect the shoulders. Uh, fold down the nose cone. Get the legs out so you can get them situated. That's uh, just like the first. And then straighten them out. Fold up the, the sky skirts in. Skirts in. Put this nose cone up. Straighten out the arms. Flip this panel open and flip out his hand and his hands a little bit loose on my copy so yeah and there's a hand all done flip out this panel fold out the foot fold out the foot pull down the panel and there we got the feet all done the hand the second verse just like the first Fold these up, open this panel, fold out the robot hand, get it straightened out, and finally, open the cockpit, put the headmaster in, and give him his blasters, which are 
these things, which are pretty cool. Now he's got a blaster in one hand. Blaster! Except his hand could have been more tight, or tight, but given he's a used, this figure was bought recently. I won't, this figure is old. Some things on the joints were bound to give. And there you have Brainstorm in his robot mood. And he's an impressive figure. You're probably wondering, how much did I pay for this guy? Well, I got him for $20. When he's usually a $40 figure or a $50 figure, I'm not sure. Nowadays. But worth it. And since I am a guy of comparisons, I'm going to pair him next to some other 30th anniversary figures. Blitzwing. If I can get him to stand. Come on. Come on. He's next to Blitzwing. Three Blitzwing. Next to the Wrecker Core, Roadbuster, and Roadbuster decided to fall over. I don't have all his guns on him because he's got so many guns. Yeah. And here he is, also next to Re Wrecker Whirl, just to so get an idea of the scale of the leader class kind of line. An earlier leader class line. Through and through. And let's get him right next to his buddy. The final comparison. We're going to compare him next to his wave mate. Hardhead in robot mode. Which I know this mold... So it's going to take a few seconds. I know this mode better than I know my own hand. And that's a joke. That was a joke. Oh, I better watch out. Let's get him. Wait. Yeah, so we're going to compare him next to another wrecker. Another Titan Master. Sorry. I was saying something else in my head for a second. So please do forgive that. We're going to give him his gun. So, yeah. But here he is next to Chrome Dome. Not Chrome Dome. Hardhead in robot mode. And this is not a bad set of figures. This is not a bad couple Titan Master figures. I like this better than the Titans Return hype brainstorm. Now I just have to get Chrome Dome and Highbrow for this set. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.